Hello, how's it? What's up? How are you doing? Blessings to you all. Thank you for being here with me today. I'm Kiara Cass. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. Today, we are going to delve right into what has happened over the course of the last couple of days in crypto. Um, because tonight on the live session, I am going to be beast moding some charts out for you guys. We might look at what few trades we can possibly get into. I have entered into a couple more trades um, over the course of the last couple of days. I will share those with you at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end and make sure that if you are watching this and have not yet subscribed, that you guys please go ahead and do so in the meantime. Uh, today, we are going to be doing a live session on trading. So here it is. Don't miss out. Click the notification bell. Today, we're going to be talking a lot about charts, what is going on in the markets, why, um, uh, the differences in the Fed timelines and what we are to expect over the course of this year with a couple of trades um, that we will get into. So do not miss out on that. Guys, I have been very, very busy over the last few days um, with this business acquisition uh, and it's been taking a lot of my energy and time. So I've also just needed to obviously balance that out with some family time too. So thank you for understanding and understanding that process. I really do appreciate it very, very much so, but not to waste another single second, let's delve right into it today. Today, the Morales money bubbles, we have IMEX and XMR uh, are the only ones that are really pumping hardcore today. IMEX is up nicely. Uh, and then some of these others are down and bleeding a little bit today, but we're gonna have a look at why that is and what is going on that is causing the bleed in this. But guys, the bleed isn't that bad. It's like 3%, 6%, you know, Tower's been pumping plenty, um, you know, so we must have some pullbacks in these cryptos. Now, the cryptocurrency market cap today is sitting at $1.866 trillion, which is mag magnificent, guys. We are literally almost back up at that $2 trillion level, and we are busy knocking on the bull market doors. I will point this out to you a little bit later in the charts and the technical analysis on the video, um, just to give you guys a bit of context as to where I'm going. So you can see here, things have been dropping a little bit. There's not much pump in the market today, but we are up with the, the blue chips, 1.4% up today. You can see that we've made a bit of a pump. We might need a bit of a, a dump and then a continuation of pattern. It just is how the market ebbs and flows work, guys. So $82, uh, $82 uh, billion dollars in trading volume and looking even more strong than ever before. Today, Bitcoin is sitting at $48,311, Ethereum at 2,500, BNB at 318, Solana at 106, XRP at 51 cents, uh, nearly 52 cents, Lido 2499, Cardano at 53 cents, AVAX at $38.85, cents. Dogecoin at 8 cents today, Chainlink is pumping at $20, guys. We are now at $20 on Chainlink, guys. That is powerful. Mwah. You know, Shiba Inu just keeps moving down the chain here. I mean, it's... I don't know, guys. You see what I mean? So a lot of the blue chips that are actually functioning and doing what they say that they're doing are remaining up in the top 10. So today, the Fear and Greed Index is currently sitting at about 70 after yesterday's 74. Um, oh, now it's sitting at 74, so I must have refreshed. Um, and yesterday, it's sitting at 72. So we, you can see we're actually getting high into the, the greed, but we last month were in the extreme greed place and that uh, um, territory. And that's why we last week had a bit of a pullback and went down back into the green territory of just 60. Now, let's go and check out some of the charts. So I showed you guys this chart last week, thanks to CryptoCon. Um, you guys can see that this peak on the flow, this indicator here, I'm not actually sure what this indicator is, but the ebbs and flows indicator, you can literally see that that announced that that was the bottom uh or kind of the capitulation where we currently are before we make a massive pump up to the upside of when when this indicator pulls back down and kind of crosses over the midsection interestingly so november 28th seems to be the date literally every single cycle guys november 28th for whatever reason okay so 
this is very, very interesting. Um, okay, obviously that's 2028, um, but we're over here right now. So we, we can't predict the future, but based on the past, the dots pretty much add up, right? Connecting the dots. So here you can see that this is where the bull market's peak was. This is where the bull market started. Uh, not started, excuse me. The bull market started on the yellow, uh, not on the yellows, on the the kind of the grayish area right here. Okay, boom. And then that's where it started. So kind of where you're getting halfway up here. So we already start the bull market essentially at this point with a breakout here. So currently we're just really be testing these zones, guys. Okay. And we might trade sideways up until just past the halving. And then once we reach that level, boom, smash through, guys. And that we're looking at a, an estimated kind of like $1.2 million level. Uh, so that's massive. Now, here's another chart by um, CryptoCon. Bitcoin early tops, average plus minus 21 days from July 9th. Okay, early tops. So yellows and purples is what they're saying are the early tops, okay? So cycle three, boom, okay? We're now in the cycle four, where we where we have already passed the zone. May 2024, okay, is this zone where we hit this purple. That's an early top. We pull back and then we pound up to the top up here. And this same chart is pointing out to even $1.4 million a Bitcoin. Guys, I just need to say something to you guys right now. I mean, even if we did go up to like $1.4 million Bitcoin, I mean, the possibility of us coming back down to the 69, 70,000, maybe even 50,000 level, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say 50,000, maybe 55,000 at the next bear market bottom is quite huge, which would mean that you would literally, yeah, you know, that is the volatility that happens. But guys, you should just make money when you buy the bottoms and let your, uh, your, you know, you're buying Bitcoin at the bottom and let it rally. Then you take a bit of profits, you re -end, you wait and you, you re-enter those profits right back in the, at the bottom. You do the same thing cycle after cycle. The same thing happens. So you have to keep four years minimum in mind with crypto, especially Bitcoin. And, um, you know, you need to make sure that you are looking at the right charts for the right things. And that's why. Kathy Woods art becomes the third Bitcoin ETF to break a billion dollars in assets since its launch. All right. Not only that, but we are literally less than 10,000 blocks until the Bitcoin halving because the target is 840,000 blocks. We are literally around the corner. An update from the Bitcoin ETFs had the second biggest day of inflows yesterday, buying just under 9,000. Now, this was on February 9th, which was on Friday. Uh, so this was from Thursday's news, guys, and that's why we had this crazy pump up in the Bitcoin price, okay? That's why we had this crazy, beautiful pump up in the Bitcoin price, right? So that's where we currently are. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Now, I hope you are enjoying this. And if you are, guys, you know, really smashing a thumbs up on the video helps the YouTube algorithm spread the love of the video and the crypto market right now, especially when you can see where we're going now. Guys, I have crazy stuff to share with you on my live session a little bit later today. Some coins that I personally invested in over the last couple of days I need, and I made 4X on those coins already. I need you guys to know that I'm not here just making videos for you. I'm investing. I've got skin in the game. Okay. And most of my skin is in the game. Something else you need to recognize is that 2024 is the year of the dragon. The Chinese name for the dragon is Long. I shall say no more. So very, very beautiful picture here. I like it. Thanks for Coin Archive. And just in Black Bronx says that Bitcoin is creating a global internet of value. Okay, well, BlackRock, the biggest asset managing company in the world, is saying it is creating a global internet of value. Guys, if you still don't believe and see this for yourself, I cannot help you, okay? I hope you are watching this because I have been helping plenty, plenty people get into this, make this happen, bring beautiful energy up here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content, okay? I have a lot more to give this week. I have a lot more free time 
even though I'm going through training and everything, I have a lot more free time to be able to make sure that you guys are getting the best out of me. All right, there's a lot of altcoins I wanna share with you guys. So make sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I release cool content videos for you guys. Altcoins are exploding. I'm gonna share the one that I got 4X with, and I'm gonna show you the trade, and I'm gonna share with you exactly what I did and what happened. Now, just in the Bitcoin ETF flows have bigger than Grace, uh, have been bigger than Grayscale's outflows for nine days in a row. So Grayscale's outflows, the biggest one happened there. Then it dropped, 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 dropped. That's why we had that drop in the Bitcoin price. Uh, over here, excuse me, over here. And then essentially now, since that point, we have literally had absolute obliteration of buying literally the entire time. Okay. Now, I might want to actually show you on TradingView, one of the, the ETFs. Okay, so you can see here, just in BlackRock says that the ETFs are scalable bridge from traditional finance into Bitcoin that enable mainstream access. Guys, read that again. Listen to that again. Tap back. Listen to that again. Okay. I'm going to repeat it for you guys. But what I do want to show you is that we literally, this is the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. Look at what's busy going on. We had a bit of downward kind of pressure here. But ever since we bottomed out, we've had massive gaps up in buying. Gap, gap, gap. Okay. wonder what's going to happen today when the markets open up because the volume has been increasing in their purchases. So I don't see why. Right now, we would not see a breakout out of this level, guys. Very, very simple. If we break out of this level, look what that does. Boom. Breakout, retest, backup. Super simple. I don't know about you guys, but this thing is going to fly, okay? This is just BlackRock, let alone any of the others. So let's draw back to some of the charting now, guys. So as you guys can see here, we broke out of the inverse head and shoulders pattern, which the neckline was here. We hit the target pretty much uh, right at the top here. We're kind of looking for a little bit of a way down right now. But if I go to the weekly chart, and I show you what that weekly candle looks like, guys. The weekly candle had pretty much a little bit more volume than the previous week's candle, but not more than the last week's candle, which was there. So interesting what the candle itself looks like in comparison to the volume. And this is something traders need to look out for, okay? Because we actually have a topping tail, a wicking candle here. So just like I showed you in my video over here, where you have people like Jim Cramer who openly and honestly tell the market that they literally, go check this video out, I will leave it pinned in the comments above for you guys. But they literally tell us that they are um manipulating and twisting the market so i don't see why they wouldn't do it in the same kind of manner so but they'd need quite a bit of money here i mean a couple hundred million not a, a few billion uh, sorry not a few million like five million three million like he's talking about but essentially you can see that this pushed the market up we closed we engulfed all of these except for this puppy here which gave us that wick now right now in order for us to kind of get above this level, my green line, as you guys can see, are actually the bull market doors. So if we do not get above that level and remain above that level, the likelihood is that we will be um, probably ending up at a little bit of a reversal pattern back down here. Now, do I think that's going to happen? I don't quite because once we start to rally, in Bitcoin, you can see that we literally just keep rallying. So the same thing here, where we met the bull market windows, yes, we had some sort of pullback, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back to my white line, guys. My white line is $41,000. Right, that's not terrible, okay? Um, but it is a $10,000 drop, pretty much, an $8,000 drop, okay? So if we did that, that's okay. We would then find some support at that level over here and then continue to make the move up through here. I think we're going to go right through the ceiling, probably break up to this 93 kind of level because you'll see there that will be upward sloping resistance. 
then pull back on to this kind of 66 65 level maybe even 50k level and then continue to make massive massive rallies to the upside guys this i, I, I just i cannot stipulate even more to you how this works because i've shown you this on my chart here a few times so every single time after we never ever broke the the bull market doors before the halving okay we actually pulled we hit the door and then pulled back okay then only after the half some time after the halving um, which is approximately on average about 203 days over there and 221 days of there so seven months takes us to more or less the october november window after the halving okay which then gives us that rally this is going to be about six months after the halving so it could even be november october november end of november to december guys because november december january those are rally months for bitcoin okay those are very hard rally months for bitcoin so that's where i believe we'll probably get through this then from there we probably have anything between nine months and ten months most likely on the peak of the bull cycle coming in maybe this could be different i don't know but you we will see my predictions on these charts going through time uh with some time so guys i hope you've had fun there now lastly here i want to show you before i show you my trades that we are currently getting into a very 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 beautiful position right here on the altcoins okay we have managed to literally break out of this area we're now finding, we're going to pull back here, finding some support. You can see there's a bit of sell pressure. But right now we have a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder, which we have not yet broken out of. Okay. This is somewhere around this area is the neckline. Okay. Once we break through the neckline, the target is very simple, guys. The target is this box here. Okay. Up at the 615 to $650 billion level. Once we've reached that, the same thing. That is the bull market doors for altcoins, including Ethereum, okay? That is the bull market door right there. In fact, I would even say the bull market door is probably even higher around this level at the 824 level, okay? So only once we really get through those levels, are we going to actually see some movements that break us through the all-time highs of these beautiful scenarios as you guys can see here that continue to give us these massive pumps and gains in crypto and of course we generally sell our altcoin bags back into bitcoin and perhaps ethereum the site uh if you guys are enjoying it please make sure to subscribe to the channel that would be truly appreciated let's go and have a look at our charts here uh our charts and our trades today you guys can see what is going on where i entered so that you guys can get a good indication of what it is that i've been doing so currently we are sitting right now in uh the bitcoin trade as you guys can see my bitcoin trade i got in all the way down here we have literally been enjoying the rally all the way up to its current point now if i look at my box here really guys it look look how perfectly it just sits on this and then moves a out and then breaks out it's finding support here it's really trying to find support here for its next move guys and i think its next move is going to break out of this level which we actually haven't quite broken out of just yet so you know that is an indication bar as a for a reversal so we could get a reversal but the likelihood of us really pushing up just like i drew for you guys um down here actually on the daily time frame on the daily time frame of this chart okay you guys can see here that i drew all of these lines here so i think the next move out of here would be up to the 58 50 55 to sixty thousand dollar level guys once we're there no no probably we could see a little bit of a pullback down to back to this 48 50k level before the halving and then we break out for the halving guys so i think we could still see one last crazy push and break out out of this level which essentially continues to confirm and reaffirm to us that we are in a bull cycle now my trade is currently doing very very well okay as you guys can see over there 
I've moved my stop loss here. And now so that you guys can see, I'm actually going to move my stop loss under that level. I don't want to lose that money. So I keep just moving it. Now I'm well in profit, guys. So I'm in a free trade that I've now made profit on. Okay. If it pulls back on me, I doubt it. And I will trail my own stop loss. Okay. So currently on my Bitcoin trade, I'm now $277, uh, sorry, percent in profit. And I'm up. 50 on the trade okay my ai trade is now 11.8 dollars and i'm now 143 percent up on that trade guys and then for my chain link trade i'm up 104 percent and i'm now uh at nine so i want to go and have a look at my link trade while i'm here with you guys because link made a nice move and i still believe that link is going to continue continue to make a nice move okay you guys can see that we literally are really just getting ready for the next move up so right now i will pull my stop loss right to my entry level so that i'm in a risk-free trade okay this is how you guys trade this is active trading okay so you just got to be patient because this is four hour candles this is over two days guys i entered this trade in here i think on late friday evening uh or friday afternoon or something like that um and look at what it did. I could see it because I drew my lines. I drew my lines. And I said, if it breaks here, my, I've got a tight stop loss. But if it gets me in, I'm going to make some cash. So the same thing right here. The same thing is currently happening. So would I enter any more into this trade? Yes, very likely, guys. Because very honestly, I think on the chain link side of things, you can see that we're getting ready to make some busts up. Uh, and we have broken out of this area and guys truthfully said the next level for chain link is really probably going to be around this maybe 25 to 30 dollar yeah 25 dollar level i would say that that's probably going to be the next target for chain link right now okay 25 dollar level which is essentially like another 25 percent increase in its market cap and price okay so very simple um, I will let you guys know later if I do enter into a trade, I'm going to watch what this does, this next candle. If this candle stays like this and pretty much um, the volume starts to pick up on the next candle, I will put more into this trade, which will move my entry up just ever so slightly, which I don't like, but it, oh, it's okay because it'll still pull me to an entry level outside of the breakout zone. Whereas actually out here, I could see that we were potentially reversing and that's why I got in at this candle. So very simple trading tactics um, to make some money. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am still in my, my long trade on XRP on my Bitflex account. And if you guys want to use my Bitflex account, you guys can get sign up using my uh, link down below. And you can get up to 80, $88,888 bonus. All right. And with my Bybit link, you sign up down below, you can get up to $30,000 bonus, guys. So all in all, that is $128,888 bonuses just for you, just with those two links, let alone some of the other stuff that's down there. Now, XRP, I told you guys what I was doing. I don't think we're going to break. I'm still in profit in my trade, okay, ever so slightly. If we continue to find some stability here and continue to make higher highs and higher lows, I will then add more to my position because then I can confirm that we are unlikely of breaking this level right here. Okay. So that for me is very, very important, but this is starting to pull downwards, which tells me that the momentum is heading down. So maybe people have lost faith in XRP. I don't know, but I still think it has massive potential to be one of the biggest cryptos out there in the world. What do you guys think down below? Or do you hold some XRP bags? Is the XRP army watching my videos? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Truly appreciate every single last one of you blessed benevolent beings. And we will see you later on the live show. Do not miss out on that show, guys. That's very, very cool stuff there. All right. Love you all. You take care and have yourself a blessed day.